Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're watching Galaxy Today and of course it's live from our station here in Lagos. Um, the dwindling uh, energy or power supply in Nigeria, of course, is a huge challenge to the nation's growth and development, which is why we're looking at the topic sustainable energy development in Nigeria. Plus, there is going to be an, uh, an energy forum coming up shortly uh, in the country, and we have uh, some of those who are participants uh, in that forum with us on the program this morning. It's a pleasure to have the technical and program lead for the 2016 Nigeria Energy Forum. He's also a member of the Institute of uh, Engineering and Technology, as well as also a member of the Institute of Electro Electrical and Electronics Engineering and the person of Daniel Adil here in the studio. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning. Thank, thank you. you for joining us on the show. Thank you very much. All Sorry. right. Okay. We also have uh, another member. He is a fellow of the Nigeria Society of Engineering and he's also the past national chairman for the Nigerian Institution of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. He's also the general co-chair for the 2016 Nigeria Energy Forum. It's a pleasure to have engineer Adekunle Makinde with us on the program this morning. Thank, Thank you. you for Thank joining you. Good us. Morning. Don't forget as we discuss sustainable energy development in Nigeria, uh, our social media portals are open for interaction. On Twitter is at Galaxy Today Live. Facebook is www.facebook.com forward slash Galaxy TV or you can uh, send an SMS to 0802 Alright, let's just um, go straight to some of the issues we've had before now and um, ways um, of um, trying to sustain um, these issues through um, renewable energy. We're all aware that um, we have um, a population of over 170 million right. and so far 50% does not have access to the national grid. Mm -hmm. We have installed capacity of over 7,500 megawatts and so far we can only get as much as 4,000 so what is what is, what does this really tell of our energy situation uh thank you very much let me start by saying that nigeria is uh, is one big country that is really yet to get it right mm. as far as the energy sector particularly electric power is concerned uh in the past uh, decades the power generation has been revolving around 5,000, between 5,300 to 5,900 megawatts. That is the total generation capacity. The best we've had thus far in the recent power was 5,450 megawatts. I mean, looking at the country of that magnitude with a population of 170 million people, uh, honestly, I think that's a child's play. We are, it's as if we, are, we have not started. Because if you compare what we generate with what even some neighboring African countries, I'm not even going to talk of South Africa, I'm not going to talk of United States of America and so on and so forth. If you compare what we generate with what they have, uh, it's as if we are just starting. But even having said that, uh, I saw some figures being scrolled on the screen just before the program went on and I honestly, I really appreciate the great job being done here. And I just want to share some data, facts and figures with us here, mm -hmm. talking about the power generation system. Now, for the country, the entire country called Nigeria, we have the hydro power stations of installed capacity, total in everything in all, 1,056 megawatts hmm. for hydro. Now, but the actual generation that we can get out of that, of the 1,046 megawatts, is 1,080 megawatts. That's what we can get out of that. Now, another one is by Thama. That's what the PHCN, mm. I mean, probably Ikeja, the electric, and so on and so forth. Every one of them, all the, what they have all together, they have capacity of Thama power, which totals 5,036 megawatts. Hmm. That is capacity, installed capacity. But what we can actually get out of that is 1,286 megawatts. I'm going somewhere. Now, we talk about the Thama joint venture, the uh, IPPs, and so on and so forth. Everything in store will have about 1,105 megawatts out of there. But what we have, the actual generation that they can churn out, is actually talking of 623.63 megawatts. So the total installed capacity, when you talk about power in the whole of the country, Nigeria, presently is about 8,087 megawatts. Hmm. 8,000. That is the 
capacity available. But what do we actually get out? The total actual generation combined, mm. unfortunately, is just about 3,000. Just 3,000? Yes, sir. Wow. And many a times, I mean, I'm aware of this, in the recent past that we were even doing zero megawatts. Yeah. Mm. For I hours had that too. on hand. Mm. I'm aware of when we are doing 1,580 megawatts. Mm. You know, I get some of this information on daily basis as the power generation. So it's, 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 it's really, but even, let's, talk, let's even leave generation now. Even after generating, there are three major components of Power, if you, I mean, before you have it here, before I have it in my house, you have the generation, which we are even still faulting there. We have the transmission, mm. then the distribution talks about how it gets to you, how it gets to me. Now, even if we do the capacity, the total power available, which is probably about 8,087 megawatts, even if we do all that, I can tell you authoritatively that even if we don't have a transmission back boat that can evacuate that power mm. and deliver it mm -hmm. to the distribution end. Mm. So the total capacity that we even have for transmission presently mm. is not more than about 7,000 megawatts. So even if we do 10,000 megawatts today, we don't have the capacity to, to deliver.